Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here, and we are back on Arcs of Final Evolve. We've taken every single creature in Arc because we have nothing better to do with our lives. Yeah, boy, and we are on to a very special creature, a creature very close to my heart, the Hyena Don. Obviously, we already have a Cupcake, but she's not going in an enclosure. She's going to be walking around when this park opens because she's she's part of our channel. So we're actually going to go out and tame uh, a couple of Hyena Dons now. These dudes are actually, they have a unique way of taming, but they're also a ball ache to tame, man. They really are. Uh, you, you, you've just got to pet them. You've just got to pet them, but they roam around in packs, but you can't tame them when they're in a pack. So you either have to like pick it up, take it away from its pack, put it in a trap, or kill off its whole pack, leave one left, and then just go up and pet it all the time. Uh, you can only do it with a ghillie suit on, which we have on already, and you have to be crouched. If you aggro it, it can reset its timer. If a creature comes and attacks you and it scares it off, it can reset the timer. It's It can be very frustrating to tame up. I would recommend a trap one. However, I'm just going to do it my way, which is doing it out in the open because I never do things easier. But if you do want to do it in a trap, literally, I don't know, two, three foundations wide, two walls up. Uh, and then you just need a doorway so you can get in and out. It's a really easy, simple trap to make. We may, You know what? We may try one without a trap and one with a trap. We'll see how it goes. Uh, where are we going to put them, though? I don't know. I feel like... I, uh, I feel like they don't really belong anywhere. They, I don't feel like they belong up in the grasslands too much. Um, I don't think there's space here for them. Is there... Is there a space here for some hyena dons? Maybe here, actually. Maybe I might whack them here. You know what? That could be a thing. If I get two, I say I get two hyena dons, I reckon I can make an enclosure here because there is a big open space here and I do need to make a walkway from here to the swamp. And that could, yeah, you know what? Screw it. That's what we're doing. That's where it's going. There we go. We've just planned the episode out all together. <laughs> so if you do enjoy the episode at any point, make sure you whack a like on the video. Make sure you're uh, subscribing as well. Following all the social medias. Buying an Axeman plushie. Make sure you are buying one of them. And question of the day then. So as we're doing a small creature, what is your favorite small creature in Ark? So that's... Uh, your otters, your dodos, I think sheeps, uh, microraptors, your little monkeys, feroxes. All of the, the ones that are, I guess, are smaller than maybe a raptor, I think, are pretty much classed as a small creature. Hyenodons, I'm pretty sure, are small. So, yeah, let me know what is your favourite small creature. Right, Mr. Kevin. Uh, we do have to be a little bit careful, actually, because hyenodons in a pack can really, uh, really hurt you. So, you know what? Let's do our Kevin ritual. So, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Mr. Kevin, sir. Look. <laughs> I'm just staring at a T-Rex just there. Kevin, what we, need to, what we need to do, what we need everyone to do right now who's watching this video, I don't care if you're in public. I don't care if you're sat with your family and friends and it's going to look embarrassing. But get your hands. Put them out in front of you. Pretend like you're holding Kevin's head and say, Kevin, we love you. You're the greatest creature ever. Please don't die. Stay safe. You're amazing. And then give him a little kiss on his little nose there. Mwah. Good job, Kevin. That's the ritual we do. Because if we don't, it means you die. And we don't want that. All right. I am going to go and find us a pack of hyenodons. And we'll tame our first one uh, without a trap. And depending how long that takes, we may do a quick second one just so I can show it off. For those of you who are using this series as learning how to tame creatures, and I'm guessing I'm just going to be stuck on this hill here today. Perfect. Good job. Great start. <laughs> so this is the spot around here. This is where I normally find um, hyenodons. My personal experience. So you want like this top left part of the map. Now they could be anywhere. They could be down at the bottom. Like I don't know. I've just had like very mixed... Uh, what's that? Save tooth. Very mixed kind of um, encounters with hyenodons. But yeah, normally these little like channels that go up and down here. That was creepy. <laughs> Two arrows just jumping across the uh, canyon there. Very interesting. And here we go. There's some hyenodons just here. There's also one with pink on it. Normally this would be a lot easier if you um, had a flyer. If you had a fly, this would be way easier. So we're going to kill all these off until we have one left. 
Kevin, you're doing good at not dying. What's going to be... Okay, yeah. Kill these two. Kill 156. You know what? I actually don't want a high level one, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Hey, you... Oh, you, you still want to fight? You still fighting? Oh, there's you. Done. I'm going to leave that one that's... Oh, where's that other dude gone? Where you gone, sir? There's that one stuck up against the wall there. There was another one somewhere. So we just got to make them calm down. That's actually the pink one, which is cool. So this is not a bad spot to actually get them. So now he has that... Oh, that means that it's still a, a hyenodon round. If they have the red mist around them, it means they're the alpha. Which means... Where, where, there, where's the other one, dude? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found him. I need to kill this one off. There we are. Perfect. Oh, so dumb. I've done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. You got in my way. You got in my way. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you. All right. <laughs> Sorted him out. So he's actually stuck, which might benefit us. Um, why? Okay. We're like still in K mode. So what we have to do. Oh, no, he's scared. We, we stood up too quick. I was going to say that might benefit us, but it might not. Because we're going to struggle to get up and around here and stuff. Uh, and I can't uncrouch. Yeah, you're like in the worst place ever, Mr. Hindon. How did you even get up there? I can't even get up here. Oh, you're like full on stock. Do I need to uh, chop this down, Mr. Hynodon? I think I might have to, right? Let me, let me chop this for you. That might make you fall. I'm freeing you and saving you all at the same time. And I'm also going to tame you. So once we've chopped this down... We have to kind of leave until he's a bit chilled. And we've just got to crouch up behind of him. Okay. Are we good? Okay, no, he's running. Okay, that's cool. You run out of here. All right. We'll keep an eye on you so we know where you go. Because I don't want you running into trouble. God, you are really running far. You are really trying to get out of here, aren't you, sir? Don't go too far. Are we good? Is that you done being scared? All right, let's go have a look then. So like I said, you've got to crouch up behind them. And it should give you a command to pet it. And then you have to wait 30 seconds and you can keep petting it again. It will actually give you a timer. It's not like passively taming it. Boom, there we go. And in 30 seconds, we do it again. So 13%, we have pretty high rates. Uh, I don't know what level this is, um, but yeah, it's... I, I say it's it's as simple as that. We kind of looked out. We got a very good spot. There's no dangerous creatures here, it doesn't seem. Um, yeah. So I'm going to keep paying him. If I do remember correctly... He might aggro to, the, to Kevin. Yeah, he did. Shit. Um, I was going to say, if I remember correctly, if you don't pet him within 30 seconds, then his torpor... Not torpor, his taming thing goes down really quick. Well, he's actually stuck in a tree, which might benefit us. All right, Kevin, I just need you to stay up here. Guard the entrance for us. If you get stuck up there, dude, that might... That might be amazing for us. This might legit be the greatest thing to happen to us. Boom. If you just keep walking... No, 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 no. You should have just stayed where you were. That was perfect. Yeah, stay in them trees. There we go. Look at that. That's what we want. No, no, don't come this way. Don't come this way. Go another way. And he should be ready for his next pet. Any second now. Boom. There we go. They're definitely stuck in the tree. They keep trying to leave the tree and then they rubber band back into it. I don't know if it's going to do it again. So yeah, this will be simple. So I'll get this one. Uh, we'll have a quick run around the area to see if there's another pack here. And um, we can just demonstrate the trap real quick. All right, we're back with just a quick demonstration. I spawned this hyenodon in just so I can show off the trap real quick. Uh, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. I've just done stone. I've just gone two by three, I believe. And I've had to make a ramp because I'd have used Kevin. And what I'd have done, I'd have, or I could have run on myself. I'd have had the hyenodon pack chase me. I'd have jumped in here. They would have followed me. And say you got like two or three of them in there. And then what you would have to do is uh, shoot them, kill them, whatever. If you're using like an RG or something, you wouldn't need the ramp. You can pick them up, uh, just drop it in there. 
that's it, and then kill off the other pack. Uh, and then you just need a doorway. The Hynodons can't fit through a doorway, which I do find weird. Uh, but this is just so you can get in and out, so you can come in and crouch at him and stuff. But yeah, it, that, it makes it a lot simpler because it's not going to run anywhere. Uh, it's not going to aggro onto any creatures or no creatures going to aggro onto him. So you just look, make sure you back up, let him chill out, and then you'd come in here. I don't know if he's chilled out yet. Not yet. But when he does chill out, you just crouch, and then you'd come in and give him a little pet. Okay, and we're back. So we've got both of them Hyenodon. So yeah, like I said, I've been thinking about it as I got back. I feel like we can make a little uh, enclosure for him. And what I'm thinking is having like two little dog kennels maybe. Maybe like one in each corner or summer. But apart from that, I'm not sure like... They live just in the open plains or like kind of rocky areas. They're not really around full foliage. And I just like... I don't know. I don't know what dogs like. <laughs> what would a dog enclosure be like? Just something like this? Uh, something like the doe dick? I, I don't know. So let me just get the layout set up anyway. Um, I'll get the layout and the dog kennels done. And then we'll look about the decoration and stuff. Because I'm really... Uh, I'm not sure about it yet. Alright, we're back. So I've just done a quick layout blueprint part of it. So kennels are really hard to make on here. I, I always forget every time I do one. I didn't want anything big. I just wanted something small and like simple. So I've put these together. Now I know these cross over these slopes. But we don't have half slopes. <laughs> we don't have them. So for now I'm just going to leave them there. Uh, we've got two of them. Like, maybe that's just the new future design for kennels. Like, maybe they just have these pointy bits. Maybe it stops rain getting in or something. I don't know. So, there's that. Obviously, we'll put all the glass into, like, one panel and stuff. But I feel like that's uh, pretty spot on from the details, I guess, I want in there. So, let's just pop both of you two out then. So, we've got our two hyenodons. So... What are we going to, like, decorate it with? I do know what I do need real quick before I forget. So I want to put some hay into inside the kennels. It's some... Yeah, it's from this mod. I needed... When we were doing the monkey enclosure, I wanted some sort of bedding. I forgot we had this mod. But uh, I can't remember whereabouts it is. Decorative... Here we go. Hay floor. That's all we want. So we want a couple of them. And I do need to remember at some point to put some of that into the monkey enclosure. So remind me, comment section, remind me to put hay into the enclosure. Um, I'm wondering if Scorch stuff might work for the Hainodons. I just don't see any rocks working with them. Because I get... Because I guess, like, we've got... Hmm, we've not even really got a deserty vibe. Like, the Dodix have got loads of rocks and stuff, and that gives a sort of, uh... It's like, I don't know. I don't even know what it is, man. All right, let's just pop these down in here, just so they have some nice bedding. Boom. Perfect. That looks really nice and comfortable, I'm not going to lie. We have Swamp next to them, so they're definitely not a swamp creature. Maybe just some small little rocks like they've got, like the pavement rocks, and then just some bushes scattered around, kind of like the Yankee and the Dodos. Maybe. All right, let me just get them small little rocks. Uh, they're called like paver rocks or something. Yeah, these. Let's make a couple of them. And we can scatter them about. And I guess we do want... Maybe once we add a tree or two, maybe that will help it. How about we do like... Um, trees... A fruit tree? Do we want an orange tree in there? Apple tree or a pear tree. Uh, what about the autumny trees? I wonder if that might help. We could pop one of these over the kennels. Uh, maybe one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. Maybe the colour will will make it look decent. All right, we've got a handful of trees. Let's just place one or two. Let's see, like, what takes our fancy. Uh... Let's go... Let's put these rocks down first, actually. I just feel like these will make it look not so beachy. Maybe more rough terrain. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let's just stick with them for a minute. 
So we have that tree is freaking huge. So screw that. That one's not too bad. Well, where was the one that was like bent over? This one. Uh, what was if we popped that? I've got to be careful because I can't have it going over the the insect thing. So we're gonna have to have a roof on there at some point. I mean that tree's not bad, you know. That tree's not bad. No, that I, that kind of works. That kind of works. What about if we can just get another sort of a smallish one? Uh, can we? Hmm. That's gonna go into the insects. That's not the worst. I feel like we just need something a little bit smaller, like this. This might be the one we're after. Just a little tree like that. Maybe we can just pop another one here. All right, let's have a look what that looks like. Okay. No, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. We definitely need some in this corner just here, but we can work that in a minute. That looks all right. Like that looks like they've got somewhere shady. So when it's like really sunny and stuff, they can lie under the tree and chill. Uh, right, we're missing, we're missing like one thing. I'm not sure what that one thing is, but we're missing one piece of decoration. A little pizzazz. We need a little bit of pizzazz in there. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it is a bush. Um, I don't think your bushes will be good for us. Um, let's say no for now. Uh, extinction bushes? Don't, they, they have some sort of nice ones. Where's their, like, fire grass or something? Small fire grass? It might, I might have seen something like this. Wasteland sprouts. That sounds good. We can wag them in the corner just to give it a bit of foliage so it's not all too barren but these look like they would belong in a barren place like they're like mushrooms let me go and have a look kevin let's go and have a look see if this is what i'm um i need so if we pop one like here and then we definitely pop one in this corner and then maybe just one like up front it yeah you know what that looks all right. It just adds a little bit. So like I said, it's not just so a barren wasteland. All right. You know what? Honestly, like, they're not going to have anything too exciting because they are just wild dogs, pretty much. A wild hyena. They're, they've not really got anything too crazy. We've got their kennels, which gives them their, their uniqueness. So let me just put the glass into one piece and stuff. I'll get them wondering, and we'll check out what they uh, like all together. And I am liking this pathway. Nice and straight. Good job, Axe. But this is going to lead perfect into the swamp. And we also have this big open area here, which we can definitely... We can definitely pop a creature here at some point. I'm not sure what, but when I need it, there's a spot available. All right, we're back for the last time today. So I do actually like this a bit better now. I do like it. I do feel like it it's not too bare, but it's not too over the top. So what we've got to make sure, just because I don't want these trees to stick out, whatever creature goes, or whatever two creatures maybe, go into this area here, has to sort of fit the vibe where we can pop these trees in. These like autumn-y uh, trees, I feel like we need... Uh, I don't know what would be in there. You'll have to let me know. If you've got any ideas, because I can't think off the top of my head. But, yeah, two... I reckon we could get two creatures in here so I can continue, like, the pathway to going down to the swamp. For the people that don't want to go into the insect area, they'll be able to go through this bit and uh, see the see the little doggies. But I like how I've not built it too high. So you'll be able to just look over and be like, oh, look, there's a little dog. But yeah, I like the kennels. I think that's pretty decent. I, I do like that a lot. And I do feel like it's improved this little this little area here. Oh, they're talking to each other. They're friends. Good job I knew you. Don't want you having little baby puppies in there. But uh yeah, there we go. I am I am pleased. I am happy with that. So that is all of H done, I think. I uh, believe. Actually, I have no idea. Let me go and have a look what might be next. 
Alright, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, we have the Ichthyornis, the seagull, the stupid seagull, and then maybe the Iguanodon? The Iguanodon might not be a bad one to pop up here. If we have Iguanodon and Parasaur here, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going to put the seagull. Oh yeah, we'll probably have to put it up in the fryer zone, won't we? Actually, yeah, we do know where the seagull's going. The seagull's not having any water. It's going to go up and live in the uh, in the fryer section. All right, sweet, perfect. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, if you learned something new, if you learned how to tame hyenodons, or you just like hyenodons, make sure you whack a like on the video. Make sure you're following social medias and subscribing. I did that in a weird order, but you know what? It doesn't matter. And make sure you are checking out the Mini Axe Plush. The link will be in the description. Thank you very much for hanging out. I'll catch you in a bit. Bye.